Hi, this is Lee Garrett and welcome to another edition of Screencast Online. Most Mac users know that there are certain developers out there who hold a certain gravitas. Some may even say cult status within the community. And when they release a product, you've just got to take a look. And one such developer is Brett Terpstra, the man behind some great applications such as NVAlt, Marked, and a whole variety of freeware tools that I use day to day to help with things like grabbing icons and sorting out my markdown. This time, he's released an automation tool called Bunch for Mac OS, which, at its simplest, launches and closes apps and executes commands all from the menu bar or with a couple of keystrokes. All of this comes from a plain text file. It does indeed look both so simple, yet is hugely complicated at the same time. But all the way through, you are covered with a great range of documentation to help. So let's see what it's all about. Here we are at the Bunch website, which is bunchapp.co. And before we dive into downloading and installing the application, I just wanted to spend a little bit of time going through what we have here on the site, because you are going to be coming back to it. I guarantee that. So on the homepage, we have just a brief description of what the app is. It's a series of plain text files that contain different lines of text that will, when run, open and close applications and execute some system commands and a lot more besides I might add. If I scroll down a little further, there is a small slideshow that shows graphically what the application is all about. And let's just run through that now to help give you some more context because it is an unusual app for sure. It is, at the end of the day, just a plain text file. Now, each line tells Bunch to execute a task. The syntax for these lines is very simple. And of course, we go through that every step of the way in this video. It's like Apple Script, but way easier. So even if, like me, you have little to minimal scripting knowledge, you can use Bunch quite easily. You'll see that in your documents folder, there will be a subfolder called Bunches that contains all of these plain text files. And you can have plain text files or Bunches as they are called for a variety of different scenarios. Here you can see that we access these bunches or scripts from the menu bar. And then finally, we have a summary of some of the things that Bunch can do. Now, moving further down, there are some use cases for Bunch that may certainly fit with some of you watching. So if, like me, you're preparing a screencast, you can have a Bunch setup that hides the dock, the desktop icons, changes the wallpaper for you, loads up your screencasting app, so ScreenFlow in my case. And then when you close the Bunch, which we see, the actions are reversed. Any apps that you open will close and any system settings that you made will revert back. Other use cases here are getting ready to podcast, which would carry out a similar set of actions to the screencasting one. Switching coding projects here, not one for me, but I can see how you may want to have different finder windows opened at certain locations. Files opened in the text editor of your choice, ready to start creating your magic. You can silence social media by scheduling a bunch to close your social media apps at certain times and then reopen them. Just like with switching coding projects, if you're a web developer, then the similar use case applies with opening a bunch to have the tools that you need on hand. And of course, there's a lot more. Now we'll talk about how to pay for the app shortly. And at the bottom here, there are three handy links for helping you work out what to do next with the app. So the lower two will take you to the document section of the site, which has a lot of great information. I'm going to click on this first one, though, which also takes us to the documents area, but to the installation section. And on the right, are the instructions that you need to follow to download and install. Before we do that, I'll just show you through some of this section here. So when it comes to using Bunch, there are some great articles available, such as how to manage the Bunch preferences, how to use the Bunch menu, there's some real attention to detail on all of the stuff that supports the app, as well as the application itself. You can see that here. Then if I come down to bunch files here, this is full of information on what you can put into a bunch file. Now you don't need to use this reference material to get started. Brett has baked some goodness into the application itself that stops you from needing this stuff right off the bat. But if you want to harness everything that bunch has to offer, then you are definitely going to be referring to all of this here. So apps, for example, has a further submenu that provides links for commands to launch apps, open files, close windows, hide apps, focus on specific apps, and more. And all of that information is down here. You may want to have your favorite browser open a specific website when you execute a bunch. Well, the instructions for that are here. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple-related tutorials from Screencasts Online. 
Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple-related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new, up-to-date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS-related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone, and even your Apple TV using the members-only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone, and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a Screencasts Online member.